that exists will last. Um, not all of the people who are being engaged will stay engaged in this moment. Um, part of what people are responding to right now is a reaction. I think it's on all of us as the resistance to articulate the values that we're fighting for instead of who we're fighting against. This is what I mean about the next four years and losing. Um, I, I believe strongly in the power of people. That's what Occupy Our Courts taught me. We're not going to have an analyst. We don't, well, the website you'll see is not being updated right now. Um, we don't have an organization not on 501c3 funding. Um, and that's because like, that's not what it's for. It was to organize the people. So to me, um, I think if the people want there to be a big coordination of organizations or groups or leaders, they will be. Otherwise, I think that they'll continue to organize in their communities about the things they hear about the way that they want to. Um, I hope that we won't see ourselves in tactics, i.e. we're the former congressional staff who started the Google Doc. We're the people who run for office. We're the people who organize the protests. I hope that's not what happens. And I hope instead what we start to coalesce around is an articulation of the America that we're fighting for. Um, and I don't think that that takes funding or uh, like status. I think it takes the feelings and articulation of who you are and what you believe in. That's pretty hard. It's not easy. I'm not sure how we do that. I want to figure that out. You were born in a 